Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. I want to have ED registered on duty today. May I offer your name and age, please? Okay, my name is Joseph. I'm Stark Hi, nice to meet you, Stark Nurse Joseph. I was actually told that you need to learn about clearing the cervical spine. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay, may I know uh, what, what, what is your confusion over here? Actually, I have a patient uh, who came because of alleged fall. Okay, and then like uh, we applied the cervical corner for him. Currently, he is complaining. Okay, he doesn't have any pain. Like he wants to go back home. So I'm not very sure like how to remove the cervical corner from him. Okay, uh, so like uh, I want to know is there any criteria or something that we need to follow? I see. Okay, that's a very big question you have, uh, Sathless Joseph. This is because uh, clearing the C spine requires us to assess a set of criteria. If they have to fill that only, it's safe for us to remove it. Okay, so today we are going to talk about clearing the cervical C spine and we are going to talk about the indication of removing it, including the Canadian uh, C spine criteria. Are you okay with it? Okay, okay. okay so may I ask that a uh, patient has any pain currently? He never complains anything. Alright, oh, yeah, that's it. And do we have his consent to actually remove the cervical collar? Yeah, I already asked him uh, regarding uh, he actually wanted to remove the cervical collar. Perfect. We can actually uh, begin by actually washing our hands first. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. And uh, what do you know about, do you know any criteria to remove the cervical collar? Uh, I've heard about this Canadian spine rule, but I don't know what is that about. I see, okay. So based on what the Canadian uh, C spine rule is that, if this patient have any mechanism, we suggest that he is in the high disc group, it's not safe for us to remove the cervical collar and he may need a radiography later on. Okay, he may need imaging. Okay. So the first is, is if the age is more than 65 years old, okay, that's number one. Number two, if is that if there's any dangerous mechanism, okay. such as if there's any axial load, the patient, okay. if there's any uh, high speed motor vehicle accident, okay. or if there's any fall from uh, height more than six feet. Okay. Okay. And the third criteria is if the patients have any tingling or any uh, shooting sensation over his extremities. Okay. So may I know does the patient has any of these criteria? Okay. This patient is actually fifty years old. Mm. Uh, he had a simple fall. There is no any dangerous mechanism involved, uh, and this patient does not complain of any weakness. All right, fantastic. So this patient does not have any high risk criteria. Okay. Because if he has any one of these high risk criteria, he needs an immediate uh, radiograph or okay. an imaging of his C spine. Okay. Okay. So if he does not have any high risk criteria, we need to assess whether he has any low risk criteria. So if we have an any high risk category, then straight away we will go for imaging. Yes, correct. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. Right. So in this gentleman, he doesn't have any high risk criteria, so we proceed to check if he has any low risk criteria. Okay. okay. So the low risk criteria are if it is a simple real and motor vehicle accident. Okay. Number two is if he is able to ambulate in the ED. Mm -hmm. Number three is if he is able to sit up. Mm -hmm. Number four is if there's any delay onset of neck pain. Okay. And number five, if there's no midline tenderness over his cervical spine. Okay. If any of these low risk criteria is not present, this indicates that he is actually not low risk and he needs an immediate CT of the, his spine. So, do you follow me? Yes, that means like any of the low risk present, that means he is categorized under low risk. Yes, correct. If, if none of them are present, that means high risk. Yes, correct. Okay, all right, understood. Yeah. Is he able to ambulate in the ED? Uh, no, actually, he didn't ambulate. But he never complained of uh, neck pain. I see. Alright. And did he say to sit? But we never assessed on sitting because like straight away when he came, like we already put on the cervical collar. He came by stretcher, but he now like he doesn't have any pain and I assess there is no any cervical tenderness. Alright. Which means that he may be in the low risk group or so. Okay. So right. if he's in the low risk group, we need to actually open the cervical collar and ask him to rotate his neck actively by himself. 45 degrees to the left and also 45 degrees to the right to see if he is able to do that. Are you, do you think you are able to do it? Uh, yes. So now I have to remove the cervical collar and also like uh, have to ask him to rotate. Yes, Can yes. I just remove the cervical collar? You just need to open first okay. and also assess first because if he is unable to do so, you need to apply the cervical collar back. Okay, alright. Right. Do you follow me? Yes, I follow you. Okay. Alright, so can I remove like this? Yes, yeah, just remove like this. Okay. Can, you, can you actually ask him to flex his neck? Okay, sir, so can you rotate your uh, head towards the right? Right. Okay. 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 Is there any pain? 
Uh, oh, that is the pain. Okay, right. okay. is that uh, uh, can you rotate, rotate to the left? Uh, pain, pain. Okay, all right. right. So there is a pain. So if there's a pain, we have to reapply the cervical collar and also request for an immediate imaging of his cervical spine because this is actually not low risk. Okay, so, so I cannot remove the cervical collar. Yes, yes. You cannot remove the cervical collar, and it's not safe for us to clear the C spine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do right. you follow me? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so by the end of this session, I'm going to provide you with the relevant information and also I'm going to provide you, you with some video links from the internet to have you further read on on the topic of clearing the cervical spine. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with it? Yes, yes. Do you have any question? So fine. No. So I will ask, uh, I, will, I will request for an x-ray for this patient. Uh, you need to request for a, a CT spine. Oh, I will. Yeah, okay. CT cervical spine. CT. So I will request for the CT scan. Yes. Okay, yes. And then I will do for that. Thank you very much for visiting. Alright, thank you.